Hello and scale guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are back again with more juicy weapons to go over. Of course, with Season of the Deep being here. And one weapon we are looking at today is going to be an old weapon that has been reprised with new roles. And it's going to be the Outlast Pulse Rifle. So if you don't know, basically all the goaded freaking gamble weapons like Spare Rations, Outlast, Bug Out Bag. They have come back, of course, with Season of the Deep with a bunch of new random roles you can get. Now, I will definitely say when it comes to these weapons... Their base stats are kind of terrible. I mean, Bungie just really just brought... They legit just brought them back, guys. They do perks. It didn't change them at all. So they're kind of a little bit under par. But the Outlast itself, this is the role I do have. So it's going to have, of course, high caddy rounds with Encore and Kill Clip. We got the full bore as well with the Handling Master. I put a target just to kind of balance whatever you want. But this actually was really, really sweet back in the day. 540s too. They can absolutely wreck out if you're in the right engagements. Like when you get someone up close, especially with Kill Clip, my good God, can you absolutely just blast somebody out of it? Now, rolls wise what you can get, you'll see in the screen. You can get some really nice ones. Obviously, instead of the Encore Rangefinder, Kill Clip might be a really dope roll. Or you can go for obviously um, opening shot maybe with Rangefinder or opening shot maybe with Outlaw or something like that. There is some really nice breaks on it, but... This is the role I got, and you can get this, of course, from playing Gambit or from, like, handing your fish in if you go fishing, boys. You can hand your fish in at the helm. But we're going to test this out in some PvP and some PvE. So without further ado, let's go into PvP with the Outlast Pulse Rifle. Alrighty, so we are going to be on, of course, Fragment with our freaking Outlast. Of course it is, guys. I know what the name is the best. But we are going to be going in, of course, with this bullet. And I will say the scope on it is really nice, and this kicks. Oh my god, I can already tell you right now it's gonna kick. <laughs> oh, thank god I actually got a kill. Now I'm full heal, but you have no chance. <laughs> oh, the radiant and the freaking thing going. And where's my kill? Where's my kill clip? Dude, where's my kill clip? What the hell? But yeah, this will have kill clip on it. And of course, Encore. Encore is actually really nice considering this is gonna kick as well. Encore is gonna be dope for it. And obviously, um, kill clip is just always a naturally good perk in PvP. And that guy's a 1 HP shot. Boy, someone tickle him. Tickle his eyes. Give me that kill. But yeah, okay, that was a bad idea by him. Wait, what the? I'm so confused. Oh, get me out. Give me a kill clip. So I could, I didn't even get kill clip off that. What the hell? Oh, how long is the freaking timer? No, give me a kill clip. I didn't even get the kill. God damn it. Why can't I get kill clip going? But yeah, I will say that the pulse, you can see, it's really, really sweet. When you can hit your shots with it, you will do really good damage over a quick uh, like, space of time. And uh, finally, now we get kill clip. And there's no one to shoot it with. That is great. Fantastic. Oh, there's the person. 26. So we'll go to about 26, 27 ish damage when you get kill clip going, of course. But holy good god, this thing kicks like a freaking mule. Honestly, I'm. Oh, there's the kill clip. 30 damage. Oh, I was off. But my god, we got sniped. But my good god, this is freaking. Yeah, this is a wrestle, guys. I am tackling. I am struggling to keep this on board. Of course, I have a target adjuster. I can stick the training wheels on if I stick on the counterbalance mob. But. And, ooh, twinsies. But my good god, this kicks. <laughs> so freaking bouncy oh my god give me the skill please i mean 540s have always been kind of bouncy the rapid fire frames and everything but my good god the stability on this i know i maybe can gear into it a bit more but hope it's just insane this will have the disaster plan though so you can kind of see everything at the time we pick up like special ammo stuff the disaster plan will clock as well now it's more of i'd say a kind of a perk that's going to be great and we actually traded but it's going to be more of a perk for kind of one shotty weapons to like spare rations and stuff you basically lose the buff. It gives you extra range stability. You basically lose that after you sh first shoot the weapon. So it's like the first shot after you pick up ammo is a little bit more stable and everything. So on a hand cannon, that's going to be really nuts. But on a pulse rifle like this, where I'm going to be having to hit a lot of shots, it's not going to be too fantastic. But we'll see. Oh my god, it kicks. I mean, all I can say about it right now is like, it actually is good when you hit your shots, but I ripped to the control users. If you're in control of trying to keep this thing down, unless aim assist is legit like she's guiding the wheel or something like that, you are not going to be hitting with this thing. This thing does not hit. And oh, I thought this would arc down. God damn it. Okay, that was a waste. I'll uh, we'll get this guy as well. And but you only get you only get one bullet. Oh my! You get two freaking projectiles. I like like three. But yeah, if you're on a controller trying to keep this thing down, you're you're going to be wrestling the anaconda. You're going to be freaking struggling to keep this down. <laughs> Bounce is so freaking much. I've had bad I've had bad weapons. I've had unstable weapons. I've used like white weapons and everything. This is honestly like the Tistol and you. This feels just as bouncy as the Tistol and you, which is a freaking green weapon. That doesn't mean it's bad or anything, guys. It's hard to control, but when you're hitting your shots, as I said, it can't go in. I will still say, though, 540s in general, and oh, is the, okay, I was talking people left this, but 540s in general, I will say that they're, um, they're always being nice for damage and everything over time, especially if you're up close, you can absolutely nail people, but the main fallback is definitely going to be range, and oh, he's a one shot, my good god, buddy, can you come back here, and oh my god, they're holding, oh, the A-team's here, the freaking A-team, god damn it, but yeah, 540s have always struggled with range, and the fact that this doesn't really have great 
base range. The only saving grace this kind of has is that this can roll range find a kill clip, which I think it, as a perk setup is going to be freaking insane now, guys. Welcome to the Thunder Dub. Oh my god, there's so many people. Oh my god, there's so many people. Give me the heal. Give me the heal. Thank you. <laughs> what is going on? Boys, can someone help me with their head? I'm getting blasted here. <laughs> Thank you, Lyo. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Well, doesn't need a nerf or anything. <laughs> and we just tank all that crap. That's honestly a big bonus too. A bit, uh, range finder kill clip or a range finder opening shot is going to be nice. Because as I said, the weapon is really nice when it gets going. But it's just hard to because it bounces so freaking much. And okay. Mercy real active. That was great, boys. Good job. Good job. <laughs> That's the outlast as I said in PvP. Fancy as hell, but it can honestly absolutely wreck you your shots. But alrighty, time for the PvE side of things, of course, with their outlast. And I will say PvE, it will be a little bit better. But all I'm gonna say, guys, I will I reiterate, rip the guy whoever plays a controller because you know what? In PvE, I'll do this because obviously I couldn't do PvP, but PvE I can. All right, boys. Well, we got the roller on. Okay, this is gonna be the roller with it, and you know what? It's gonna bounce like hell. <laughs> what you mean? It's pretty much just as bad actually. PC was bad too, but. Yeah, PvP. It's a kicker. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely a kicker. Maybe I should go back to do my PvE reviews in, uh, of course, controller or whatever. But I will definitely say that um, this is an absolute beast in terms of what it can do in terms of damage. But it is super hard to control. Maybe that's what they wanted. I'd say if it actually came back with some decent stability or whatever. Or maybe you got like a really good like stable roll or something like a Zen moment roll. A Zen moment honestly would make this freaking so good. I can't aim. <laughs> but yeah, if they gave us a Zen moment roll or something like that, that would be really really sweet too. I just think generally speaking, the uh, the gun just feels obviously out of power just because, as I said, the base stats on these are just not that great. Just it's legit just because Bungie brought these back and basically didn't really change much other than giving them a perk and a new symbol at the top left of the freaking icon. That's that's pretty much all they did with it because there's no way this is a brand new freaking weapon. Can this thing die? Thank you. <laughs> of course, the PvE though, I can kind of get the Encore going a little bit more. It's just for getting kills and everything like that. So, obviously, it will be a little bit more stable in that regard. And obviously, range and everything. But I definitely will say that it's still the, uh, it still kicks so freaking much. It's, it's absolutely freaking Bronco. Like, I am wrestling this thing. Like, if you're on control, I'm telling you right now, you're going to have sore fingers after playing this game because obviously, wiping your. Oh my god. As I was saying before, it's really interrupted. But you're going to have real sore fingers if you're in control about this because. Not alone is a rumble that's constantly going where you're firing this thing, but you are freaking legit having to pull so hard down in this thing to keep it any sort of uh, form of freaking like reasonable recoil. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to be the mainstay for some people. As I said, it's just better right there at the moment. The only thing I will give this is that this is, of course, a Solar 540, which, to the best of my knowledge, we don't have too much. I think the Jurassic Green is one too. So, okay, Jurassic Green is probably better than this. Honest. this has a really clean scope actually but yeah I, I just think that at the moment just because of how hard it's to control and also the stats on it i will definitely say that when it comes to um the weapon in general it's not bad but there is it's just better i mean there's just better weapons in this game you know what that's okay sometimes as i said not every weapon that comes out has to absolutely shake the meta apart or freaking just be absolutely god zero obviously i want desirable new stuff so like you're not just wasting time for a season but there's so many desirable weapons this season that it's not too bad to have some that are going to be just like probably not as great as I said. All these sort of, well, all sort of gamble ones kind of are just like, uh, yeah, they're okay. It's mainly the dungeon weapons you're kind of looking for and obviously the last wish weapons. It still feels okay-ish and it can absolutely do work when you hit your shots. If you're hitting your shots, I'm telling you, this thing's just insane. But it's because it's so hard to hit them that, uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend you to really try to grind out for this. Well, that is it for me. And of course, our outlast freaking pulse rifle. As I said, it's not bad. Like, it can do work and everything. But I definitely will say that uh, it kicks. It, it, it's an absolute beast. I, I control on so many different things. I had small bore on it. I could stick on the counterbalance, which I had on kind of the start of PvE. But it's still going to kick like hell. Unless you get something that makes it, like, obviously improves your stability in terms of uh, perks and everything. But still, it's not going to be amazing to uh, control or anything like that. It doesn't feel great in the right hands. So don't get me wrong. When you are shredding or when you're hitting your shots, my good god kind of feels so good 540s always do when you're absolutely shredding especially with kill clip kill clip makes it so sweet it just struggles in terms of its base stats and everything i think all these gambit sort of reprised weapons kind of have base stat wise they kind of struggle but this one just it kicks so much for a 540 honestly feels like when i'm even on pc it's kicking on pc it doesn't really have recoil but even on pc i can feel the bounce so that's how you know a gun has an absolute wildly insane freaking recoil pattern even with like without the kind of balance one you can see it's 60 to the freaking right so just keep bouncing this way, like, don't, 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 don't. And it's just impossible to control. So I will overall say, the Airlast Pulse Rifle, 
It's fun to use, don't get wrong, PvP, and it's fun to use in PvE, but I definitely will say there's better pulses out there in this archetype. But regardless, if you liked the video, show us a like, and if you see more content, subscribe, and fantastic day, and hopefully I'll see you in the next collective in the next one.